Welcome back, my frisky little badgers. My, uh, my next guest is a beautiful and talented artist. She's a Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter. Her long-awaited third album, Extraordinary Machine, is out now. Performing Get Him Back, please welcome the lovely Fiona Apple, everybody. Yeah. Welcome back. I'm here with the lovely Fiona Apple. What, what a lovely album this is, Extraordinary Machine. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. What does that mean then, the title of this thing, Extraordinary Machine? Um, it, sometimes I write songs, most of the time when I write songs, um, 
Like, I think that I get this reputation because it's true that I write all these songs that are very angry towards people and it's all about, you know, trying to seem like I've got it all under control. And they're all just really, you know, it's, it's not true. I never feel like that when I'm writing the songs. They're all kind of pep talks. And so, um, so you, you kind of trying and, to but they end, up, they end up like kind of coming true later on, like after like a year or two, I'll, they'll finally, I'll finally actually feel as strong as I did when I tried to pretend that I was that strong when I wrote the song. You're a very complicated woman. I don't, don't usually. And have to, I like that. I don't, I don't really have to talk though. What? I don't usually have to do this talking thing. So I, I'm I not. gotta tell you, you are the best talking musician I've ever talked to. <laughs> It's true. Usually music, musicians come out and they go, uh, there's a G in it. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, I wrote it because I was sad. Well, I tend to have a lot of, uh, the, it's called Extraordinary Machine because that was kind of like my um, hopeful pet name for myself. You call your, I thought you maybe had an extraordinary machine, like something that could make waffles and just No, like, give me, like, like, no, like, like, give me anything, be mean to me, do whatever, anything, life hit me with whatever, and I will, it'll go through me, and it'll come out into something nice. Wow. That is an extraordinary machine. Is, it, is that, is that happening? What if people are nice to you? What are you going to do then? What if I say you're beautiful, talented, clever, you demand respect and should have it? What are you going to do with that, girlfriend? <laughs> well, here's now I'm going to start talking like the musicians that you talked <laughs> before. I don't, I don't understand that language. You're no, right? I, that's the, I, yeah. No, Does I, all art come from angst then? No, no, I really don't think so. Mm, then how would you write the extraordinary machine stuff? Well, I had angst then. But, yeah. But, oh, well... How are you going to write now you're happy? Am I scaring you? A little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm scaring myself. No, I figure, well, maybe it's true. Maybe you need to be sad. Maybe you do. But yeah. I don't think so. I think that, but no, here's what I think, though. Okay. I only write when I'm angry or sad or something because that's when I just have to write. And I only will work if I absolutely have to. Me if too, I'm having yeah. a good time, and if I'm having a good time and I'm happy and things are going really well, yeah. why would I want to stop what I'm doing to go and write at the piano? You are, yes, absolutely right. I feel that. I feel that about this. <laughs> Do you find, because I feel, come, when I come out here and I talk to folks, it cheers me up. Does, does writing cheer you up? Yeah, it cheers me up, but the worst feeling in the world, for some reason, is like, and this has been happening since I was like eight years old and I would write little songs and I would be so excited and I'd get like my mom to come in and listen to them. Yeah. And as soon as I would be done playing the song, I would get so depressed and I still don't understand it. It's just like a letdown. It's like, I, I, I guess I expect you know, somebody to hear it, and then the world just becomes bigger and brighter all of a sudden because yeah, I've no, played this song out loud for the first time. But it's no, no, that's I... that you're confusing that with drugs. It's drugs. Whole, <laughs> whole oh, different, whole different thing. And very bad for you. You know, writing songs good, drugs no, no, mustn't. Now listen, do you take part in all the rock and roll culture? Do you... I almost thought you said, do you take part? Sorry. Do you take part? Do you? Come on, do you? Do you take part? Come on, you do, don't you? Do you? Uh, let me phrase it another way. I'm fond way. of the color green. Right, right. Do, do you have glaucoma? Yes. Ah, I see. <laughs> well, do you take part in all the rock and roll lifestyle, though? Do you go to the Roxy and take your top off and dance on the table and stuff? <laughs> I hardly ever leave my house or my neighborhood. Really. And that's not a sad thing. It seems like it's a sad thing. No, I, just, I, I, I think it's sad. I got everything I need. I got my handful of friends and my handful of nice places that I like to go. And that's really enough for me. I don't, I don't, um, I don't. What about touring? Do you ever go and do that? I like touring. Yeah? I love touring. But I love... only in your neighborhood. No, no. <laughs> it's like... Tonight, live from my next door neighbors. <laughs> it's like the trick or treat. <laughs> hey, it's Fiona Apple. Want a concert? <laughs> That would be fantastic. That's a good idea. You can make a lot of money doing that. That'd be, people wow. like, I don't know, you could. <laughs> or at least cookies. You'd get cookies. <laughs> it would be fantastic. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's something in it. Okay. All right, we'll work on it. You want to open for me? Yeah, all right. I'll go and do, I'll do the first bit. I'll do the kind of, hey, God. No, I want to do that. 
Yeah. You, you want to do that? Yeah. Well, I'll do the opening. I'll do the, hey, where are you from, sir? All that kind of okay. stuff. And then you come out and be good. Okay. Uh, we're out of time. Fiona, you are enchanting and, and talented and beautiful. And please come back to our show anytime. I will. I Fiona will. Apple, everybody. Good night. <laughs>